hello everybody and welcome to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to post process your results how to extract the data from PowerView and post process it using python so let's start now here we have a case of open form i open it using PowerView. PowerPoint. Then apply the last step. I'll visualize the velocity U. Then I apply the filter plot over line. So plot over line, I choose a line from 0 0.6. 0, 0, 1 to 0 0.6, 1, and 0, 1. For the resolution, I take just uh, 100, 100 point. And here, as you can see, we have the pressure and the velocity, the magnitude. I can choose all the variables here. So here I have uh, UX, UY, UZ, arc length, and other variables. Also, I can, uh, I can use other variables as the epsilon, k, uh, viscosity, and other variables. I need just to check them here. Then in the plot over line, I check here. And I have all my variables visualized in this graph. So all the data here is in this line. I have P, U, X, U, Y, U, Z, points, uh, the variables of turbulence, and also other variables. So what I need to do is to spreadsheet view. Here I have all my variables. I have a table of all the variables what i need to do is to extract to export this data i'm going here to i'll name it plot over line data okay So now it's here in this folder. We can open it using a tabler. So as you can see here, we have all the variables. So now how to post process these variables using Python. I'll keep this file open and I'll show you uh, Python code will go uh, line by line so we can treat it. In the first section is to import packages. This is for uh, for operations. If you are familiar with Python, you will uh, you will understand what is this for. So for NumPy, it's for operations. CSV to uh, to manipulate CSV files, then math to do math operations. Matplotlib is to uh, to plot your graphs. Us is to manipulate files to to delete, to remove a file, to uh, to add new file, and then random if you uh, if you need, for example, to uh, to choose a random uh, random name, random number, something like this. So now let's start. Here we have our file. It's named plot over. Yes, so it's named plot over line data. I'll copy its name. I'll make it here. Dot CSV. So I'll open it for reading as file source. And I'll read it using CSV reader. Then I'll open another file, version file called result result.txt 
and I'll plot I'll in fact extract uh, every variable that I need to plot and put it in this file result.txt. For example, here we have so we have variables here like u0, so it's the first first variable, it's of index 0. So now we will go line by line for row in file plot for every line here, we will go to the element number zero. So this is the element number zero, then number one and so on. For us, uh, we will start just by doing mm, velocity. So it's zero here, zero, one, it's for U1, two, it's for uh, U2 and so on. For x, y, and z, we will go and find it. So it's point 0, point 0.1, and point 0.2. So let's count to see the real index of x, y, and z. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then it's 20. So the x is 20. We will here extract the row of 20, then the y is 21, then here it's 22. So here we have u0, u1, u2, x, y, and z. You can add as much variable as you need. Then we will create another variable named data. So here in the new variable, we are importing using NumPy. We are generating results, generating data from the .txt, result.txt. And so we have all our variables that we extracted here, it's stored in data. Now we need to create other variables named u0, u1, u2, x, y, and z in order to extract the corresponding line from data and put it in the new variable. So we can manipulate each variable on its own. So here we extract the first it's like the first line or the first list in data and store it in u0. So it's our variable u0 and so on with all the other variables. Now to generate a graph, it's, we create figures. It's named fig0. And then we can use plt. plt is matplotlib.pyplot. We import it as plt, and then we specify which variables we gonna uh, plot. So we will plot y u zero using stars, and here just we name uh, the label of x its y, the y label its u zero, and the title. The same thing, and the legend of course. We uh, name if we want to to add a legend in uh, in our graph. Then to specify, we want to graph uh, using grid. Here in this command, we can save our figure. So here it's for u uh, one. It's the same thing. We just need to uh, modify fig1, then it's plt.figure1, then here it's for u1 by y, and all the parameters you can test. It. Now let's execute this code to see what, what does it give. So we will open new terminal and we will execute it using Python 3. 
So for Python 3, I install it uh, using Anaconda packages. You can go in this website of Anaconda. You will find whatever you want. Anaconda slash products slash individual. It's free packages. Just go down. You will find different distributions for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. So you will uh, find by the latest uh, version of Python, which is 3.67.7, and uh, choose your distribution and install it. It's very simple and very useful. It contains all the packages and uh, all what you need, in fact. You don't need to install anything more if you are using Anaconda. So now let's execute this code. Python 3 plus variables.py and here we have our clouds. So here it's the uz versus y. We have equal to zero because here in Paraview we have only 2D geometry. So the velocity following z is equal to zero. And then here is u1 versus y and the first one is sorry the first component is u0 it's ux versus y so here is just a simple example if you want to plot your variables following following x, y, or z, or for example, if you just need to, uh, I don't know, uh, visualize your results following the arc length or something like this, or I don't know uh, if you want to visualize the velocity, uh, velocity across the turbulent uh, energy, something like this, you just need to go here, store your, store uh, all your, uh, your components, then generate it, from this file result.txt, then import your uh, your rows here in every variable, and then do whatever you want as your operation. So now, if we want to, uh, for example, plot these three graphs, u0, u1, and u2 in the same graph. We will create another graph named U, just U, because it contains all the three components. And we will give it figure three, figure three. Here we will start, we will plot Y by U0, then Y by u1 using for example this symbol then y by u2 using the point symbol and here we have to name the love the the x is y per meter and the y level it will be velocity just velocity and the title is it's velocity versus y for figure it will be figure three save figure u we will name it just u Now to execute this code, Python three plot. So we have here is the figure tree. It contains the three graphs, the first. So now we have to add a legend in order to give each graph the corresponding symbol. So now in order to add a lesion to our graph, we just go here 
and add u u0 comma u1 and u2 then here we have our legend so here I have this error since we uh, we don't have a legend here we can remove this line it doesn't have any impact in our graphs So here we have the grid and the legend of each graph. We can eliminate this grid. It's very simple. We can remove also this plt.show so to uh, to avoid showing the graphs all the graphs all the time. So we will close all the graphs here. Then we will execute our code. So it gives the results, but it doesn't show the graphs. It's re registered. It's already saved here. So now we have our graph, our three graphs here, U0, U1, and U2. You can do, uh, you can do the same thing with other variables like the pressure, dynamic pressure versus uh, static pressure or other variables. You can personalize your code the way you want in order to obtain the results you are looking for. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.